Oh, I just ran out of star power. Uh, today's random spot, we're going to be looking at the Nintendo Star. Oh, what's it called? Superstar Candies. There we go. Now, you know, I'm a sucker when it comes to tin candies. I've reviewed everything from... Uh, what? We've got Pac-Man Ghosts. Done reviews of that. We've done a, a review of the Wii controller. And on, keep going. We're going to keep going with these. Today we're going to be looking at the Superstar Candies. By the way, that thing in the beginning, that was the... My, that was my crude impression of the star power music that they play when you use the star power. Um, nice little star. As you can see, it's three-dimensional. Metal as well. And uh, they always usually emboss something to the containers. In this case, they've embossed the eyes, which I like because it's not, you know, it's not just a flat surface. Also, the container itself is not a flat surface. It's actually a rounded. So it actually gives you that feeling of depth, which I really, really like. Um, these are always a fun little thing to collect. They're, you know, a buck or two. Sometimes they're about closer to two dollars. But they're always neat to have because you can put them on display, you know, you can put them next to your game controllers, your game consoles, and uh, they're neat. They are neat. But it's not just a candy, it's not just a container. I just gave it away. It's not just a container, there's actually candy inside, as you can tell by the rattling. So what we're going to do, it's, it's actually interesting, this is the first time I've opened these, it's interesting how easily I opened these contain this container of candy. Should I be concerned? Yeah, probably not. So, what's inside? We've got little star candies. And they're actually, they're very glossy. Like they've been waxed. Does anybody remember in the 80s, there was, there was always those vending machines, you know, grocery stores, 5 cents, 10 cents. 25 cents really was the was the most expensive. I mean, certainly by, by this standard today, 25 cents gets you nothing. But back in the day, 25 cents was something substantial for a child. Um, there were about, there were 10 cent sour candies. Uh, they were round, different colors, and then they had this wax coating on them. Uh, this is actually what these star candies remind me of. And nobody wants to see, of course, me just doing this for the entire review. So what we'll do is we'll give one of these candies a try. Well, I'll give it a try, and I'll let you know what I think. You know, these almost have no flavor. I think near the end of me chewing these, you can kind of get a, a hint of banana. Banana? Um, oops, I just dropped it. Um, but, yeah, there's really no flavor to it. A little hint of banana, that's about it. Let's give it another try. Well, I can say this. There, it's a hint of banana, but it's nothing impressive. I mean, interesting little candies inside. Don't get me wrong, but... I think the only real reason to buy these, if anything, is the container you'll have left over once these candies are, are eaten. Or if you throw them out. Either or. But a, uh, an interesting container nonetheless. Today's random spot, we we're looking at the Superstar Candies. They weren't great candies, but at least you get a good, nice container out of it. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned. There's many more of these spots to come. Not necessarily of the star here, but there's many more random spots to come. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for lots more. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm going to play this out.